Gracias. Um, what else? There used to, there's a dance club up this road, or there used to be a dance club up this road. I'm not even sure if it's there anymore. I used to go there like every week. When I first moved to Taiwan, there was a, a, a dance club down this road. And, uh, yeah, I would just go there. I, I, I never, I didn't drink, I didn't pick up women. I just went there to dance. It was, it was like, it was my way to keep in shape. I don't do much other exercises. Did I meet any girls there? Hmm. Yeah, a few. Maybe four. Four or five. Most of which was like people that I knew, like students. And then I would tell my students that I was going there. And then they'd show up there and then, yeah. <laughs> and then I'd take them home for the night. <laughs> and of course, I'm talking about my kindergarten kids. No, no. I'm talking about my adults. I used to teach adults. Teaching adults is the way to go if you want to if you want to date a lot in Asia. Get adult classes. Don't be a pervert. So many perverts teach adult classes here, man. I, I was I was a manager for a bit, and just we had one guy. He would like get horny on like Saturday night or something, and he would take the student list, like our attendance list or whatever, home with him. And he would go down the list and call every single female student. Do you want to do something tonight? Do you want to do something tonight? Do you want to do something tonight? And they'd all say no. I think they all did. I guess the ones that said yes, we wouldn't know about it, right? And and and, and then and not only that, he would ask all the coworkers too. So it's just like you know. And then the next Monday, it's like every single coworker is like, yeah, that guy phoned me and asked me out. Me too. Me too. Me too. And then the students are saying, yeah, he phoned me too. And it's just like. Buddy, come on, you don't think that's going to, like, reflect badly on you? It's your, you know, you just hit on all of your students in one day? Like, huh, common sense, man. That was a dog. And he wasn't even the worst. The worst was we had another guy who, 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 who had, like, a 15-year-old, he's, like, 30, or I don't know, he's, like, uh, he was, like, high 20s, low 30s. Maybe like, I don't know, yeah, 28 to 32-ish, that area. Around 30, how about that? He was around 30 years old, give or take five years. And uh, he had like this 15-year-old student, and he was like hitting on her heavily. He even, even was dumb enough to put it in writing. He wrote her a love letter. And then the student like showed it to her parents. He wrote her like this like love letter. And then he was like, oh, I was uh, giving her a lesson on poetry. I was just... I wasn't actually. It's like fuck you, pervert. It's an ugly guy too. And it was funny because what ended up happening was, I had to take over that student because you know he was a pervert. So we we took the student away from him, and then they they gave the student to me, and then she ended up hitting on me. <laughs> Not a word of lie, but I didn't do anything. I didn't I didn't fool around with my teenage students. Well, not unless they were like eighteen or older. But yeah, it was funny, because we she ended up... I could have if I wanted to, I just didn't. Um, yeah. I almost had an accident near my house recently. I, uh, it was, and it was my fault. I was... It was like a... It was kind of like a Y junction, and I was shooting off down the branch, and then there was a car that was coming kind of straight. It's kind of like this, where there's something branches off, and then, and I kind of shot off down the branch, but there was a car, a uh, bike coming straight, and we almost hit. It was pretty close, and if we had of hit, it would have been my fault because I was cutting across his his lane. He wasn't cutting across mine, and it kind of, <clears throat> and it was like you know like a minute away from my house, and it just it, it and what what happens is. You know, the vast majority of, act, of car crashes happen within, like, within something like, within a mile of your home. And the main reason for that is because when you get close to your house, you become lazy. It's like, it's like, oh, I don't need to start, you know, when you're far away from your house, you're a little unsure of the roads, you're paying attention to other drivers and whatnot. But when you get close to your house, you're just like, oh, I'm almost home. And then you, I can relax. Uh, you know, like, I've, I've, I've been on this street a million times before, I don't need to pay attention. And you just kind of go into this relaxed kind of driving mode, which is not good, and then you crash. My very first accident ever 
in a car was turning onto my street. You know, like I'm, this is the main road and this is my street. And as I'm turning onto my street, a car hits me in the side. I was driving a car at the time. No, 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 I was driving a car and a bike hit me in the side. A Harley Davidson. <sighs> but that guy was speeding and drunk. And, and, and he didn't even get any tickets, the lucky bastard. Because he was like badly hurt. <laughs> he went to intensive care. But he was totally speeding, totally drunk. Because I found out afterwards he was coming from a party. And there's no way he wasn't drunk. But they didn't, they didn't test him. So This was back in the day before they automatically test everyone. Nowadays, he would have got tested. Anyways, that's it. Actually, physically hurt hurt my ears there, literally. They're still hurting. It's a nice looking custom bike, man.